Tuning instruments to the same pitch became necessary when two or more instruments began to be played together. To a certain extent, that problem was solved in the early 18th century by the invention of the tuning fork. However, while it was a step in the right direction, it wasn't the complete answer. Bau, Mozart, Beethoven, and all the other composers all used tuning forks to tune up their orchestras. But still, they were usually tuned from a different pitch from each other. Their pitch was determined by whose tuning fork they happened to be using at the time. They were not standard, and they were different from each other. A lack of standardization. It was clear that there needed to be a standard way of tuning that everyone could use. One standard was set in the 18th century when a four or above middle C on the piano became the positional measurement of the tuning standard. This lies in a range of 400 Hertz and 480 Hertz. Heinrich Hertz proved the existence of electromagnetic waves in 1830. The cycles per second were described in units that were named after him or Hertz's. Therefore, the standard was set midway in the F4 range or at 440 Hertz. This became the standard pitch reference for tuning, a reference point to make sure that instruments all sound in tune. In the last 10 years or so, an alternative system has emerged, supported by a range of theories and applications. This alternative is set at 432 Hertz, not 440 Hertz. And there are some interesting reasons applied to why it may be a better system. But is that true? Was it a new alternative? What is this 432 Hertz versus 440 Hertz debate about? I shall get to that later. The world we live in today. Unfortunately, the world we live in is plagued by false information. An idiot can set up a website, Twitter account, or Facebook page and start expounding rubbish. And they do. Furthermore, the people that control these sites do nothing. It costs money, and we can't have that. They aren't rich enough, are they? People who either have the authority or try to claim to have it, get away with indiscretion. They get caught doing something they shouldn't, and the cry goes up, oh, it's fake news. Poor me, I am innocent. Most of the time, they are guilty, as history has shown. Nevertheless, it's put on the internet, and some people believe it. The 432 Hertz system is sometimes referred to as Verdi's It was the Italian composer who made a statement saying that the 432 system was better. This was because he claimed it was mathematically consistent with the universe. Verdi was not a mathematician, so where his statement came from is hard to understand. And incidentally, neither was he the poor son of an illiterate family he always pretended to be. His family was quite wealthy landowners and traders nor was he the first to draw attention and make the suggestion. It was first suggested in 1713 by Joseph Sauver, who was a French physicist. I shall make no more comments on Mr. Verdi. What is the 432 Hertz system? Let's try and understand what it is and what the differences are. The 432 system is an alternative system to the 440 Hertz International Standard for Tuning Instruments. The 432 Hertz is also sometimes called the scientific pitch, or as I have already mentioned, the Verdi pitch. It has its basis in the setting for middle C or C4 at 256 Hertz. This differs from the 440 system, where it is set at 261.62 Hertz. The 432 Hertz system gained a following in the 1980s, encouraged by the Schiller Institute. It was from there that some of the more controversial claims were made for the alternative system. One of the arguments for the system is that the musical octaves for C would offer whole number increments in both the decimal and binary systems for counting. When expressed in as, the C octaves will remain as whole numbers. That makes it more concise. The consensus among those who prefer it is that it is easier on the ears. They also claim that it has a brightness and clarity that 440 Hertz does not have. Then, others claim that the 432 Hertz system is more in tune with nature and thus harmonically appealing. They claim that makes it ideal for relaxation and meditation. A claim that is objective, of course, and very difficult to prove. As you might expect, and if you have good pitch, then it does sound a little lower than 440 Hz. But is there a noticeable difference? To some, yes, there is. 
And if you compared the same piece of music side by side using both systems, then you would hear a very slight difference. Some websites allow you to do this if you are interested. The IOS, or to give it its full name, the International Organization for Standardization, has decided that the standard pitch is 440 Hz. Unfortunately, some won't accept that standard. In Boston and New York, the symphony orchestras use 441 HC and 442 Hz, respectively. In parts of Europe, 443 Hz and 444 Hz. So, the conclusion we can draw is that there is no accepted standard at all. People will operate as they see fit. However, the 432 Hz versus 440 Hz debate rumbles on. But what are the arguments for and against each system? Let's now consider that a little closer. There are several reasons why we should use 440 Hz. If some tune to 432 Hz, they won't be in tune and some instruments cannot be tuned, for example, some steel drums. If they are set at 440 Hz, they are going to be out of tune with an alternative tuning pattern. Switching to a new standard at this stage would be unfeasible. For a start, the vast majority of electronic tuners use 440 Hz, though some can tune to a range of settings. So does most musical software. Even if a realistic and justifiable reason to change were found, it would be no easy or welcome task. Most population groups would dismiss that argument without any consideration at all. While it may not have any real spiritual significance, there are some issues related to it. People claim they feel calmer and more peaceful, which is why a lot of music for meditation and New Age music use is 432 Hz. They claim inner peace because the music is cleaner and clearer, and therefore less stressful. The same people claim that 432 Hz aids in the spiritual development of the individual. What is my opinion on 432 Hz versus 440 Hz? If you are someone who prefers the sound of 432 Hz, that is fine for you. But it is not helpful or persuasive to others to publish or reproduce false and misleading information. And like it or not, that is what happens. If you are going to start quoting information, make sure it is reliable and comes from a trusted and approved source, not from some keyboard warrior. You might prefer it, but that is not a justifiable reason to spread misinformation about unproven benefits. And other people's opinions are not proven benefits. They are what they say they are, opinions. Because most instruments are tuned to 440 Hz, most digital tuners have 440 Hz as their default setting. However, there are plenty of tuners that offer both options. I have included some examples at the end of the article. All of them are great tuners that display the tuning standard you prefer on the screen. And you will be able to tune your instrument using those devices.